Hey guys, VBad here with another V plays, and by the request of a gentleman by the name of Half Iron, he asked if I could do a review of the P40 Warhawk. So you see it here in all its glory and its shiny paint job, allowing me to be able to get 3% additional cruise speed. Uh, this is fully upgraded, it is not specialized or anything. In fact, the pilot's still only at 97%. Hopefully, with a win and a times three, I'll be able to knock that out. Uh, this is a really great precursor for what to expect once you start to get uh, further along in the Mustang line because it's going to have the same type of guns with these 650s that you're going to be getting used to all the way through the F-86 Saber and the flight characteristics are going to fall in line with all of the Mustangs that come after this. Once you hit the jet fighters with the FJ-1 however uh, they do see a big boost in maneuverability which allows them to be some of the better altitude dogfighters. Uh, in fact uh, the F-86 is unparalleled in that capability and the p40 is definitely not going to be a very maneuverable aircraft with a 10.8 turn time and it doesn't actually have a slot until you're specialized to do the lightweight wing frame just trying to avoid some of the fire coming in here the enemy does have some bombers and we want to try and intercept these an a2 is actually going to be or an ar2 is actually going to be a prime target for us since it is fairly thin skinned lower tier and poof got him what do we got on us here multi-roll should be able to out turn an f2a we're going to go ahead and burn past both of these aircraft right now, trying to use some of our altitude performance here to be able to put them in a really bad spot as we make that F2A climb well above his altitude comfort zone. And we'll just dive back down on him real quick here. They're both stalling out. A zero is a prime target up at this altitude. We do have a heavy up here, and that F2A just does not want to give up the ghost, huh? That's fine, we'll return the favor. I have enough firepower to be able to take him out, and then here's that Blenheim F. He is not going to be able to hang with us. Go ahead and force a rollover. Oh, lost my mouse there, managed to pick up the zone. Is this a B-17? I really am not in a big hurry to get into the tail gun of the B-17D, but if I can take him out, I might as well go for it. A lot of hit points on this aircraft and a lot of firepower in the form of its tail gunners and side gunners, but if you can get directly behind them, there's actually a bit of a safe zone right here. As you can see, as we continue to pepper away. But as he turns, he's gonna bring more of those guns online. But if I let him go, he has way too much firepower in the bomb load. Actually overheated the machine guns here. Doesn't happen too often, but there we go, knocked him out. And is that the AR2 again? Yes, this is a good target for us. Again, thin skinned, more of a dive bomber, tends to be at lower altitude, will come up from underneath him. That'll allow us to kind of slow down as we vector it onto his tail. Here's that zero again. Oh, it's gonna burn us out. Fortunately, we do not have the firefighter skill yet, but we are doing our part to maintain the center zone. And he was taken out by an ally, so we got 125 points for aiding and taking out that zero. We're going to make our way directly back to the middle and do, see what we can do to try and hold that zone. We see Cheeks here and an XP-44. Uh, the Rocket, I am a big fan of that aircraft. It's kind of your introduction to what you should be expecting for the P-47 line. Albeit you do lose uh, out on some of the air to ground ordnance. Uh, it makes the P-47 Bravo feel really good because you get rockets and bombs. Come in on the side of him, so it's harder for him to turn. 
getting fires is very typical when you're talking about this volume of fire coming out of the machine guns. There we go. I'm sure bombers will be making their way towards the mid, he says, and then it just gets killed. What else do we got down here? Ground attacker, two ground attackers. I do see a fighter. Seems to be engaging our friendly aircraft here. He is at higher altitude, not really where he's meant to be. But he is trying to climb, and you can see how slow he is as he's just kind of lumbering through the air right now. He got knocked out. Here's an F2A player in a multi-roll. Even though they're just machine guns, they do have the ability to pump out quite a bit of damage very quickly. There we go. Finished him off on that second run-in. Let's go ahead and dive down and go after these oh, ground attackers. I was going to go after the ground attackers, but I do see a bomber coming in. We'll engage him in a second. See what we can do against a beefier target down here. Slowing down, offloading. That's going to be a Ju-87. No bombs, so we're not going to have to worry about getting bomb trapped. Managed to knock him out. It's an LBSH over here. We lit him on fire. Hitting that boost to get the nose over a little bit faster. And took him out. Let's go ahead and go for a straight vertical climb and see what she can do. Still managing to accelerate with that boost hammer down. Got ourselves up pretty high. We're going to hit that boost cooler. Just kind of tap it. It's at zero again. He really wants to be up at altitudes he's not supposed to be at. That F2A is not going to be able to keep up with us, but it looks like he wants to engage some of our allies here, so let's pay it back. Some good hits on that run. Let's get a little bit of distance so we can engage him again on our terms. He might be dead by the time I get there. Yep, looks like it. Is this the Blenheim again? It is. Blenheim is on us with those 220s. 220s at this tier are going to be pretty fearsome. Picked up Wing Legend. Knocked out the target. Oh. Speaking of a rocket, here's the rocket. He managed to flip the zone, which is actually good. It gives us a chance to kill him. Got him. Guy just picked up grade two. And 17,000. That should be our times three. And we were at 97% on the pilot. So we should be at 100% now. So we only have four skill points on this aircraft. We actually moved him over from what would have been our XP44 pilot back when I bought that for a demo showing people how to buy and sell aircraft. So... Should be able to take full advantage now, so we're actually at a limited capability with both of these skills. So Engine Guru and the Aerodynamic Expert are going to allow us to be able to take even more advantage of the boost cooler because this increases the effect of either maneuverability and or speed modifications and then engine guru is going to increase our thrust by three percent so that's going to allow us to be able to use this thing to its full potential and be able to climb even better with this aircraft uh, so yeah that's the p40 and essentially if you are watching this video you could have watched my p51d video you could watch a p51a or p51h video and they're all going to be very similar in the characteristics it's going to utilize its airspeed its altitude to 
be able to get the advantage on the enemy and staying at altitude to engage aircraft that you can turn against. Uh, this isn't going to be your best turner by any means at altitude, so you're going to have to bear that in mind and choose your engagements. And with those 650s, you can chunk away quite a bit of damage. Tier 5, 650s are pretty good. Once you get to about tier 7, it starts to get a little bit wary. There's a lot of a lot of fire going out and not a lot of damage coming back just based on bigger hit point pools. Uh, that and aircraft are moving much quicker, the amount of time you'll get on target, yada yada. But the basic premise is P51, P40 rather is a very good aircraft and a great introduction to the P51. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that answered your question and kind of scratched the itch for you, Half Iron. But this is the P40 and I do like it. It is a pretty looking aircraft. And if I'm not mistaken, the P-51A is actually modeled heavily off of the P-40. It's like a bunch of modifications to this in order to give it a little bit more in all capabilities and all aspects. And you see a very similar cockpit design when you look at the P-51A. Anyways, I already said it, but I'll say it again. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.